This is a reading of chapter 39, the most infamous chapter in the history of my immortal. And Stephen has been selected as our lucky winner, who gets, <laughs> who gets out the window, who yeah. gets um, the privilege to read it, and it's done by Ben, Paul, and Stephen. <laughs> yeah, we're just giving up now. <laughs> yeah. Right, just holy. Sh right. Okay, I didn't know if it was in like proper. It is. Awesome. I'm not going to lose it now. Disclaimer: yeah. I do not own the H Harry Potter series, and I am not the real bloody wrists bitch. Authors know I am an extremely immature, pathetic idiot girl. I know. <laughs> Out of boredom, I cracked this girl's passy for fun, and it took less than eight minutes to do it too, and will probably get in a shitload of trouble. Awesome. Which I probably deserve, because I'm being a troll right now. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> and I present to you my crappy part in this story. And take note, I haven't even finished reading this fic yet, but instead skip over to skim chapter 38. Flame, laugh, do whatever you want, perhaps. Well, she's a goth too. I don't know. Okay, he takes a point out of it. Go uh, ahead! Ben, don't shout. Power! I, the American retail wearing British vampire <laughs> suit, <laughs> <laughs> cough up blood. Satan kneel down beside me. No, don't nope. die. Three, Wait, two, one. one. No! Oh, it's a long one too. Don't die. I gave him a rueful smile. I'm sorry, it's something I had to do, to fulfil my duty as a noble gothic Mary Sue. <laughs> Satan sobbed. I love you, Ebony. I love you too. What? Nope. You're not a good writer! Oh, what? No. Nope, wrong two. She's bad. Uh, fail. Fail. No. Fail. Fuck you. I'll, it's fucking Go crap. Like rests. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you in hell, I mumbled, already finding my surroundings fading to black. She saw a red door and she wanted to paint black. <laughs> Bloody Mary Smith suddenly popped into the room for no apparent reason. She frowned when she realised that the room was all the quiet, but at the sight of Ebony's lifeless body, she screamed, Yay, she's gone! Her face became pale with horror. She screamed for the healers, Dumbledore, McGoogle, there's and no, every there's single... There's no capital G, bad. No. Well, who cares? There's no capital fucking development. And every single gothic person she could think of. One. Suddenly a glow started to surround the body of Ebony. Everyone stared in shock. Her body started to lift ever so slowly, and then, to everyone's shock, again, it started <laughs> to incinerate. <coughs> Pause it. Keep going. When everyone realised what was happening, they rushed over to try to rescue the body, Why? but it was too late. The Sioux had, had became... No, oh, fuck off, Stephen. The Sioux became nothing more than a pile of ashes. Yeah. A loud resounding of everyone bellowing. No! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to pause oh, this quickly. Quick. No! We're back. <laughs> That's why I did it. I filled the room. <laughs> a loud. No, fuck. A flash of white light from the ashes then started to bounce around the room. Everyone cowered in fear and were and temporarily we're blinded. You are grammar. When it was all over, things changed. Okay. What? No. <laughs> All the silly goth clothes dropped from everyone's bodies. And I will refuse to explain how the hell that happened. Oh, there's not. Oh, right, yeah. And in their place, clothes the characters would normally wear in canon appeared on their bodies. She's ruining the story. Oh, bitch! Well, I, 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 want, I want the old story back. I, I quite like sucks. this one, actually. I want the old story back. Well, you get the old story back anyway. I know, but this one sucks. Uh, let's keep going. I want to. I don't, <laughs> I don't. I have to. I hate reading them. Go ahead. When everyone Lucky got you. over the oh. shock, when everyone got over the shock of becoming free of the gothic power, she can't even spell it right. <laughs> Everybody cheered. Everyone started singing "Ding Dong, the Sioux is Dead." <laughs> <laughs> well, that is until all the Harry Potter characters realised the true implications of becoming more canon-like again. All the characters who were supposed to be dead fell to the floor, their bodies cold and lifeless. Harry and Voldemort started dueling. On the left side of the two, the battle of the light side and the dark side were reaching a climax. And because the replacing author likes to also to also likes to screw around with canon, Draco and Hermione <laughs> fled the scene and got married. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, is the, yeah, I read this bit. Down in hell, Ebony shed a single tear. Oh wait, let me stop that. That's a typical writer's trait, a bad writer's trait. Um, if a character sheds a single tear, they're definitely a Sue. Keep going. 
of her because of her current situation, a situation that would live on for all eternity, or at least until the end of fan fiction time. <laughs> well, the she lost. Coming. Yeah, she lost it all, but she knew she had to remain strong. Nothing would ever break her down. Never gonna give you up. Wow. Stop rickrolling the audience. <laughs> she looked down over her pale body and frowned. Where are my emo clothes? She asked herself in confusion. And then it occurred to her. See, if this was written by the original, it would say she act, she act herself in confusion. Yeah. No, she actually spelled confusion right, if I remember correctly. Contortion. Or it was confusion. Contortion. Contortion or something. For her short, she was wearing a bright pink polo with a little seagull on the right or left, I can't remember, side. Below that, she was wearing a denim miniskirt with the destroyed look on it. Well, or the cheap look on it. <laughs> Paired underneath that skirt were leggings with a little moose at the bottom. Because everybody knows everyone likes moose. And then Ebony realised, on her shoulder, she was carrying a pretty bag with an eagle on it that said, Live your life. <laughs> the new My nose blocked. It said, Live your life, written all over the bag. The new author is just as bad at just doing descriptions as um, Tara Gillespie. They all suck. All fan fiction sucks. Ebony suppressed the urge to scream. Here she was, here she was, de- missing comma. Oh ho. Tisk. Here she was decked out in clothes prepped to the extreme wearing stuff from... What? That's another missing comma. And the missing Y or something. It doesn't... Decked out in clothes preppy to the extreme, wearing yeah. stuff from Abercrombie and Fitch, American Eagle and Hollister. Oh. I don't know any of them. Keep going. Panicked, Ebony hastily tried to take off the Hollister polo, but underneath it... There was another Hollister <laughs> polo underneath. Underneath it, there was another underneath. <laughs> Ebony frowned and looked under her shirt. All she saw was a bra underneath. Okay. Dare I point out, it is from the airy line available at American Eagle. Who cares? <laughs> Ebony tried to remove the shirt again, but to her frustration, there was yet another polo to replace it. This is unlogical and does not make any sense. Oh my god, just the notion of Ebony ever seeing something like that. <laughs> Ebony bellowed out she to makes the air. She failed to see the irony in her statement, how hypocrit- hypocritical her words were, seeing as she was practically calling the kettle black here. Oh, right. Ebony slit her wrists and mumbled to herself, Oh my god. <laughs> End crap thick. Author's note, if you want to see the original content this chick had planned for a chapter, I accessed it through the document manager thingy, which I copied and pasted, so you can read it here. Oh, no. Here we go. Right. I introduce them again. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a reading of the actual chapter 39, which is shit. Yeah. By yeah. Stephen. Don't worry, at least it's short. Yeah, because I'll probably kill myself. <laughs> Author's note, STFU preps get a lift. <laughs> get a lift, rather. You suck. Oh, living. Oh, and from now on, I'll be on vocation in England until, like, August, so I won't be able to update for a while, lols. Thanks to everyone... Who revoid expect the preps who flame f- f- who flame fuck you? <laughs> LCR <laughs> rules six 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 one one one. I what? woke up in the nor in the <laughs> nurse's office on a special gothic coffin. No, she didn't die. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Hergrid was in the bed opposite me in a comma because <laughs> Vimper and Draco. Oh, and we Bet finally found. Not that you'd know what they are. We found yeah. the comma. Yeah, we finally <laughs> found a comma in the story. You fucking stole my joke. 